You're watching the Physics Classroom's video tutorial series on kinematics with me, Mr. H. The topic of this video is calculating the acceleration from the slope of a velocity time graph. Here's the questions we wish to answer in this video. What is slope and how can the concept of slope be used to figure out how an object is moving when we view its velocity time graph? And how can we calculate the slope of a line on a VT graph and thus determine the acceleration of the object? Let's get started. We're going to begin with a review of the two most recent videos in this video tutorial series on kinematics. In the most recent videos, we've learned that the velocity on a velocity time graph is determined by where the line's located on the graph, whether it's above or below the axis, and how far above and how far below it might be from the time axis. We've also learned that the acceleration is determined by the slope of the line. So we're looking here at nine different lines on velocity time graphs, and what we can say is that lines one through five on the left graph are all represented of an object with a constant velocity. There's no acceleration for those lines. But objects 6 through 9 are represented by lines that are diagonal and have some slope. And so these are accelerating objects. They're changing their velocity. Now I can look at lines 1, through, uh, one 2, 3, 6, and 7, and they all have one thing in common. They're located above the time axis in the positive region of the graph. So they have positive velocity, whereas lines 4, 5, 8, and 9 are representing objects that have a negative velocity. Now if we focus on the graphs on the right, Line 6 and line 9 are both lines that are going further and further from the time axis over the course of time. So these represent objects that are speeding up, whereas lines 7 and 8 are approaching the time axis as time progresses, and they represent objects that are slowing down. Now if we look at lines 1 through 5 again, over on the left graph. Those are horizontal lines that have zero slope, and as such, since the slope represents the acceleration, they have zero accelerations. They're the constant velocity objects, whereas lines 6 and 8 have a positive slope, and as such, they have a positive acceleration. In lines 7 and 9, they have negative slope, and therefore a negative acceleration. Now let's look a little more at this connection between acceleration and slope. When we calculate the slope of a line on a graph, we're calculating the change in y divided by the change in x. For a velocity time graph, we're plotting velocity values along the y-axis. And so when we calculate the change in y, we're calculating the change in velocity. And since time's along the x-axis, when we calculate delta x, we're calculating the change in time. So for these graphs, the slope is the change in velocity divided by the change in time. Now earlier in this tutorial series we've learned that that ratio of velocity change to time change is the acceleration. Therefore what we can say is that the slope of a line on a velocity time graph is the acceleration of the object. So let's look at this idea of how we would apply it conceptually. If we look at these two lines on the graph, we notice they both have positive slope. And because they do, they also have positive acceleration. We often say as the slope goes, so goes the acceleration. So positive slope means positive acceleration. Now if we look at these two lines, they're sloped in the negative direction. And because they are, and since since as the slope goes, so goes the acceleration, we would say these have negative acceleration. And then we could look at these two lines, and they both have a positive slope, but one's got more slope than the other. The one with the greater slope is the one that has the greater acceleration, and the one with the smaller slope has a smaller acceleration. So as you continue through this series, keep in mind that as the slope goes, so goes the acceleration whenever you're speaking of velocity time graphs. So how do you calculate the slope of a line on a velocity time graph? Well, I'm going to tell you. First, you want to pick two points on the line whose coordinates are clearly known. Then, you want to find the x-y coordinates of those two points. I've done that here. You'll notice I picked the first point because I knew its coordinates to clearly be 0 seconds and 5.0 meters per second. And I picked the last point on the graph because I clearly knew its coordinates were 10 seconds and 20.0 meters per second. Now for the third step, I'm going to use these x, y coordinates to calculate the change in y divided by the change in x. So I'm showing my work here on how I do that. 
for the change in y, I take the 20 meters per second and I subtract from it the 0 meters per second. And for the change in x, I take the 10 seconds and subtract from it the 0 seconds. That gives me 15 meters per second in the numerator and 10 seconds in the denominator. And when I do my division, I get 1.5 meters per second per second. And that's how you calculate the slope of a line on a velocity time graph. Now let's look at two more examples of how you calculate the slope of a line on a velocity time graph. In this graph, I'm going to pick two points on the line whose coordinates I clearly know. So I happen to pick the first point because I know its coordinates are 0 seconds and 15.0 meters per second. And I pick the last point because I look at it and I know, hey, those are coordinates of 5.0 seconds and 5.0 meters per second. Then I take these x comma y coordinates and I plug it into the equation. The slope is the change in y coordinates divided by the change in x coordinates. In other words, I do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So when I employ this method, I'm going to go 5.0 meters per second minus 15 meters per second for the numerator. And that comes out to be negative 10 meters per second. For the denominator, I go 5 seconds minus 0 seconds, and that comes out to be 5 seconds. So in this example, the line has a slope of negative 2 meters per second per second, meaning the object's accelerating in the negative direction, perhaps that's leftward, at a rate of 2.0 meters per second per second. Here's our last example. Again, pick two points on the line. I happen to pick the first and the last. And then find their coordinates, 0, 0 for the first point. For the point on the upper right, it's 5 seconds and 15.0 meters per second. And then use the equation, slope equal the change in y divided by the change in x. So I plug in my 15 minus 0 for the numerator and my 5 minus 0 for the denominator. And I end up getting 15 meters per second divided by 5 seconds. And that's 3.0 meters per second per second. Now it's your turn to practice. Here's two velocity time graphs, and your goal is to calculate the acceleration for the two objects. So get yourself a scratch paper out and make an effort to calculate the acceleration of these two objects by determining the slope value. Remember the three-step method. Pick two points whose coordinates are clearly known. Write down the coordinates of those points, and then find the change in y divided by the change in x. So put a pause on the video for a moment, and then do your problems, and when you're done, why don't you press play and we'll see how you did. Okay, for the graph on the left, what we've what I've done is I found that I picked the first two first point and the last point and I found their coordinates. Then I took those x comma y coordinate values and I plugged it into the formula slope equal the change in y divided by the change in x. There you see my work and the answer comes out to be 2.0 meters per second. For the graph on the right, I did much the same thing. I picked the first point and the last point because I knew their coordinates clearly. And then I used the equation slope equal change in y divided by the change in x or y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. And there's my work. And I end up with a slope of negative 2.0 meters per second. How did you do? Okay, we've done it. We now know how to use the concept of slope to extract information about the motion of an object from a velocity time graph. We also know how to calculate the slope of a line on a velocity time graph and thus determine the acceleration. It's at this point in every video I like to give you an action plan, a way to help you make the learning stick. But before I do that, I was wondering if I could ask you to help us out. If you like the video, could you press the like button down below? Or, if you like the video, maybe you'd like to subscribe to our channel. We have a whole lot more videos coming at you this year. So, and finally, if you want to ask a question or make a comment, go ahead and leave it in the area down below the video. Now for the action plan, a way to help you out. First thing I'd like to suggest is to head off to our website and visit the Graphs and Ramps Interactive in the Physics Interactive section. We have a link in the description section down below to that. It's a great activity. It's kind of a game-like activity in which you have to match a graph by building a ramp along which a ball rolls such that its velocity versus time matches a graph. Now, another thing that you could do is head off to our website and you'll see a concept builder called Words and Graphs. It's exceptional for this idea of slope of velocity time graph. You'll find the link to it again down in the description section. The third possible way that you could make this learning count 
is if you're a Minds on Physics user, then go grab our app number one. There's three modules on the app, and the second one's called Kinematic Graphing. And if you open Mission KGA in the Kinematic Graphing module, you'll have awesome practice calculating the slope of a line. And then finally, if you're just a reader and you need a reference, visit our website. We have a very popular part of the website. It's called the Physics Classroom Tutorial. It's a written tutorial, kind of like the written version of these videos. And it's a great reference if you need one. Whatever you do, good luck to you.